Six fun facts you probably didn't know about Colombian snowy mountains or nevados. Part of Colombia is right on the equator, so the country's weather is proportionally warmer at the same altitude than any place further north or south. To really help you understand this, I'll tell you a story. A few years ago, I was hiking around Mount Baker in Washington state. In shorts, because it was August. The summit of Mount Baker is at 3,200 meters, and Mount Baker has a lot of snow. Now, you have to climb to about 4,000 800 meters in Colombia to finally find snow. So if you think about it, if Colombia were further north or south, it would have snow everywhere. Number two, there used to be snow on Montserrat and all of the mountains above Bogota. Granted, this was like 30,000 years ago, but it's actually really fun to think about. Number three, in the 20th century, there were 14 snowy peaks in Colombia. There are now six. Some of those peaks that don't have snow anymore are well-known landmarks like Urase and El Cumbal. Okay, I think I should move now because I don't want you to get too bored. Ah. Woo. Number four, Nevado Santa Isabel is set to lose its glacier by the end of the decade. It actually currently has less than one square kilometer of snow on it. It's also Colombia's lowest, most accessible snowy peak. I'd say that's worth a visit. Number five. Summit in Cucuy is not allowed right now because of a scandal. Back in 2017, a video came out of people playing soccer on the summit. It caused an uproar and the indigenous tribe of the area closed access and actually even destroyed the road. But that video was just the needle that broke the camel's back. The real reason was a general lack of respect for the national treasure that is El Cocuy, which also happens to be diminishing a little too quickly. Was the reaction a little much? Maybe. I think it's something that could be worked out for everyone's benefit. Now, throughout history, there's been an ongoing debate as to which one of the Sierra Nevada's peaks is the highest. From what I've read, it seems like the consensus right now is that Simón Bolívar is the tallest, just a few meters behind El Colón. I think that's wrong, let me check. Yeah, I was wrong. The consensus right now is that... I forgot again. Cristóbal Colón is higher than Simón Bolívar by a few meters. But from what I'm read, no one's completely 100% sure yet. Goes to show how much attention Colombia pays to its glaciers. 